Hi Sue. Hi Dee. Hi Wendy. Hi Alison. Hi Donna. Evening Karen. Evening Karen's back husband. Hi Alan. Because I bet you're listening. You better add B. Hi Lorraine. Hi Sally. Hi Sue. Hi Jay Shree. Oh good. Do you know what? I don't know why it is, but it never shows me your name till afterwards. So I'm glad I've caught you tonight. That makes me happy. Hi Tracy. Hi Margaret. Hi Jill. Hi, Renee. Oh, do you know what? We've had a beautiful day today. It's been really nice. And well, it's been a bit of a bit of drizzle, but it's not been too bad. It's been quite pleasant, hasn't it? Hello, Linda. I saw Linda in the flesh today. Oh, <laughs> well, you were there. Oh. Yes, we've been out celebrating awesome. a very, very special friend's birthday. Um, so, yes, it was lovely to see Linda. Uh, hi, Kathleen. Hi, Christina. Hi, Helen. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Mark. Hello. Hi, Nikki. Nikki, I can see you've just sent me a message, so I will uh, uh, apply myself to that as soon as we're done. Hi, Roz. Oh, Roz. Hello, Sue. Sue, I've also seen today. Hi, pa Parini pa Paranita. Have I got that right? Hi, Karen. Well, we did, Nikki. We went out uh, this afternoon for a very good crafty friend's uh I don't know if I'm allowed to say birthday. It was quite a spectacular birthday is all I'm it going to say. It had Yes, it ended in a zero. And uh, lovely Sue um, organised it. Uh, one of our local um, attractions, Chase Water Railway, at the Sidings Tea Room. It was amazing. It was a, supposed to be a surprise organised by her brother, but um, basically his idea was to ask me who I knew who could do it. And uh, Sue... Williams is an absolute whiz and she did such a beautiful job it was absolutely fantastic uh, really really great afternoon hi Sally hi, oh hi Jane and Jane we've got Kari on YouTube oh hi Kari on YouTube and Kate and Kate hello and Jimmy Less. Uh, Jimmy Less. well I'll have to come and have a look now anyway in Costa Rica oh Ooh. but it's warm there Right, so uh, I said at the beginning of the year that what we were going to do was we were going to do a big book and then I know how much you love the inserts, so we were going to do a little book. This is the little book. It didn't turn out to be a little book in the end. I don't think it's going to be more than three classes, but <sighs> it wasn't a little book. It didn't at all turn out how I intended. It got a bit out of control. So I apologise profusely because we're meant to be doing the bees and um, the bees aren't ready yet because I was too busy doing this one. And you wait till you see what we're going to be doing in crafting together with all brands because I'm working on that as well. And um, quite frankly, I'm lagging behind. I've not had a good couple of weeks, actually. I've not been very well. And, and it's really put me behind. And I'm so sorry because I've just been feeling really sorry for myself and hiding in a corner, which was a little bit pathetic. But I'm, I'm all right now. I'm feeling a lot better today. So we can get on and get the stuff done. It was cake. It was it was definitely cake that did it. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hi, Diane. Hi, Celia. Hi, Nadine. Oh, hi to Amy. Oh, yes. Hi, Amy. I know you're watching back later, but nice to see you later. OK, right. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on this book thing, which I've called the year box. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, but the queen of boxes is a lady called Claire Charville. And I'm, I'm going to do something that I wouldn't normally do. And I'm going to tell you to go and look at this lady because her books and boxes are quite phenomenal um they're just beautiful please don't leave me but i'll definitely go and say have a look at what she does because it's it's just beautiful 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 work but what claire has done um i believe and i could be wrong but nikki will put me right on this one is that she's developed her very own construction tape uh, which you can't get from anybody but claire at my creative spirit um and uh it's 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 a life changer i mean i've made boxes before and i've been very happy with my boxes and you've made boxes with me and we've used card as connectors to make it all you know all come together um but this tape is is a game changer and uh i would say if you um if you get yourself some tape and i'm, I'm pretty certain that she ships overseas you're gonna find it um just absolutely incredible to use so um we're doing a box uh but um i say we uh to be truthful 
Mark is the genius where boxes are concerned because it does have a degree of engineering in it. And he cuts things, whereas I'll just cut things at a straight, I don't know, four by six. He'll do it at some weird number, which sounds weird to start with. And then you realise that actually this guy is almost as much of a genius as I am, uh, which is great, really. Oh, wow. What a team. Almost. Yes, dear. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to I'm trying to persuade him to do the box with you because he is just brilliant. Um, so we'll see. But anyway, what I want to do tonight is I want to work on um, the inserts. Now, I have used Echo Park Day in the Life for uh, for, for my my box, so that what I can do is I've got a a little pocket per month, so that I can put. Um... Oh, Jane did ask where you got the tape from. Oh, uh, yeah, there is. Um, I'll, we'll we'll put the link up. It is on one of the posts, but I'll yeah, put I'll put the link up on the group as well, so you can see. I'm sure Mark will, will do it. I mean, I've just and she's she's really quick at, at posting out as well, unlike me. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely worth getting, and it's really not expensive either, which is great oh, considering it's so so phenomenal. Anyway, so what we're going to do is what well, what I did was I made twelve of these pockets. Um, and I made one per month because the card, the, the, the design paper that I used was called A Day in the Life by Echo Park. It's not the new one. It, it's a little bit older. Uh, so it wasn't um, that easy to get hold of. But it's nice because obviously everything is divided up in two months. So I used a 12 by 12 pack, mainly the 12 by 12 I used to decorate. And then I had a six by six pad, which is what you've got in your kit. And um, I used these, the, the cutouts on the six by six pad of the month that I put as a, a stopper on, on the top. Now, each of these pockets has got photo mats in. So it's got some photo mats for three by four photos. And it's got this little sort of folded um insert i suppose you could say uh, and that that all goes in the front but what you've also got is a little pocket in the back hold on it's a little pocket in the back that's got uh two six by four photo mats in it as well so you've got a chance here to put together some of your favorite photos from the month and um you know pop them into this little pocket and like i said i have made 12. now i haven't got any paper left because you guys have had it all. Uh, so I'm going to make mine with, and I just grabbed this. This is an old craftsmith. I don't, and, and the, the reason that it's not in the shop is because uh, there's obviously been some cat attention to it and it's chewed on the corners. Um, but I'm just going to use this one, but just to show that, you know, you can make this up with something um, completely different. So that's what I'm going to use. I've lost the front of it. I've tried to think what happened to it. So there we go. Anyway, so what i want to concentrate on tonight is the pockets and we need to make 12 of them okay hi christina you are so welcome here i'm glad you found us hi kim hi lynn what have you been baking lynn um yeah so i uh, what we're going to concentrate on tonight is is the pockets. Now, if you've seen your cutting guide, um, what I've done is I suggest that you you cut them out all in one go. Um, but I'm just going to do one tonight, and then um, if you want to carry on and do all twelve before next week, that would be just fine. So I'm going to cut one and make one. But your cutting guide, you will see that I've given you the numbers to cut for the whole project. So I've put cut 12 at four and three quarters by seven, which is this backing piece here. OK, so when I say 12, I mean cut 12. Hi, Karen. I'm excited you're with us as well. Which hubby am I complaining about? No. She hasn't baked anything, so hubby's complaining. Oh, which hubby's complaining about? Well, so am I. Yeah, she just promised to bake. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm always fascinated to see what you're baking. Oh, I'm disappointed yes. now. About, um, Although I am caked out. Huh? How about lemon risotto? Lemon, oh, yeah, I know. I've got to do it. Mm. I'll do that. I might even do it this evening. In fact, actually, no, I won't. Uh, but I might do it tomorrow. Right, anyway, okay. So I'm in the doghouse now because I haven't been baking. Mind you, I haven't baked for about five years. So, you know, you should be used to it by now. I did. 
84. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, where I've said cut 12, that is for the whole project. But tonight, I'm just going to cut one. Okay. I hope that makes sense. So, let's get started. I need my trimmer, which is covered in bits of card because I've been making the project for tomorrow, which we're way behind. Actually, you know what? The project for tomorrow... Um, <laughs> I haven't finished it yet. It's another It's another box. You can blame Mark for this. This is a box that I actually made years and years and years and years ago. Um, but I wanted to do something that we could put all of our inserts in. Um, and then I realised that all of these inserts are all completely different sizes. So I'm just starting from, from scratch and making some more. So this isn't finished yet, but I have, I have, made, I have made an insert to go in it. So this is what we're going to start tomorrow, okay? Um, which will give me a chance to catch up on the rest. So I'm doing a Christmas theme for mine. Um, but this is just a really super simple insert. It's got, um, what do you call these things? Waterfalls. It's got a waterfall here. It's got a stack pocket here. Open it up. There's another waterfall and another stack pocket. So it's nothing complicated, okay? But that's where we're going to start tomorrow. So basically the project that we're going to be doing, crafting together with all brands, is a box to put all your inserts in. Seems like a good idea. You can blame Karen McGinnigal for that. Her idea. Right, okay, so let's get started. I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut one, but you guys are going to cut 12. We're going to cut one at four and three quarters by seven. So four and three quarters by seven, okay? Now I'm cutting one, you're cutting 12. And that is going to be our backing piece, okay? Then I want you to cut one at five and three quarters by five and a half. You're cutting 12, I'm cutting one, okay? And that's the pocket for the front. Next piece is five and three quarters by three and a half. So you're going to cut 12 of those. I'm just cutting one. So five and three quarters by three and a half. And then what I've done is I've discussed the header. Okay, now when I say the header piece, this is what I mean, all right? This is this piece that goes up here. So out of my original kit, I use the six by six papers that um, I, cu I cut out the, the month so that when I'm, I'm flicking through my book, I can see, or my project, I can see what month I'm on, okay? Yes, Lorraine, definitely. <laughs> Right. OK, so so that's what I mean by the header piece. Now, I'm not using that for mine. So what I would probably do is I will go through my paper and I'll find um, a suitable cut apart. I don't know. What have I got in here? No idea. This paper is so pretty. I think it's called Southern Blues. It's Craftsmith, which I think in the US is your recollections. You get it from Michael's, I think. It's an old one, last year, I think. My, my, yeah, my creative spirit, and it's the signature construction tape. Yeah, that would be brill. I would say Claire is the queen of books and boxes and, um, you know, she, she's just phenomenal. You can learn so much, so much from her. Righty-ho. Okay, so um, I'm going to do this for my header. I'm just going to pick one of these. Uh, these aren't straight. That's interesting. No, it's not, is it? It's a bit weird. So instead of using um, the the months, I'm going to use that for, for my first header. And I'm just going to measure that, which is, oh, ruler. I had to tidy up, which means I'll never find anything yeah, again. Says, oh, Hi, Bianca. Figates. 
I was asking her how she was. Oh, okay. No, it was German. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so this is just three by three by four ish. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to um, mat it. She says. Let's find a piece of card that I've already got. That's not going to be wide enough. I'm just going to mat it onto a piece of card, okay? And that that is that will be my header. That's what I mean by a header, okay? So it's it's not too too technical. All right. So um, you're obviously going to need to cut twelve of those if you're cutting. Um, if you've got the six by six uh, day in the life, then you're going to be cutting um, from each page. You're going to be cutting one of the months. I think that's probably fairly self-explanatory okay so the photo mats um, it says cut 12 i'm obviously only cutting one because i'm lazy uh we're going to cut at eight and a quarter by six and one eighth now if you are using one of my kits or you are using a uk sized a4 this is already eight and a quarter inches across so i've just cut it six and one eighth now, that might sound like a really weird size, but you'll know that I like to put a reveal around the outside of my photo mats. So that's why we've got the extra eighth of an inch. So a standard size photo is six by eight inches, six by four inches even. Uh, and then I want to have this little reveal. So I like to add on an eighth of an inch. OK, so that's why it's a bit of a, a bit of an odd, a bit of an odd size. That's why. It's not me being awkward and just trying to fool you all with eighth of an inch sizey things. Okay, right, let's put that over there. Uh, righty ho, so we've got that one. Uh, eight, eight and a quarter by six and an eighth. No, yes. Yeah. Because okay. if you fold that in half, you're going to get yep. four and one eighth, aren't you? Yep. It's not me being nuts no, you're not for a change. Today. Okay, that's good. All right, so then um, you're going to cut this little one, which will fit your three by four photos, and you're going to cut that at three and an eighth by six and an eighth and the reason that it's three and an eighth is once again to get that reveal so three and an eighth by six and one eighth okay and then the final photo mats that we're going to cut are to fit standard size photos so these are six by four photos so guess what we're going to cut these at six and one eighth by four and one eighth and i want you to cut two of those yeah, so 20, yeah, 24, 24 of those. I have to say, I spent a lot of time making photo mats on this project. Uh, if you're going to be putting photos directly into them, you don't need to make um, these white photo mats that I made. Uh, you can just put your photo directly on there. I have used my stamp set, my uh, Stamps for Interactive mini book set, which Mark will hopefully, bless you, dear, uh, put up on the screen. Um, this is a set of stamps that um, I've had designed uh, that I find quite useful for making mini books to direct people what to do when they don't really know what to do with books. And I've set myself a challenge to use a different way of stamping a different design in each each time i use them um and we'll see how that goes because i am not a natural stamper righty -ho. okay so you guys are going to be still merrily cutting out and i'm going to be shooting way ahead of you now and i'm going to make my first one up and to do that i have to start by making my scores so oh, i've got no room anywhere right okay so let me just turn this over so i know what i'm doing so this first piece, which we cut, which is four and three quarters by seven, this is my backing piece. Now, what I did on mine, totally optional, is I rounded my corners just on two sides, just on those top sides. So I'm going to start off by just doing that. So let me just grab my old and trusty corner rounder, which I've had forever, but I still love it, even though it's blunt as a blunt thing. And I'm just going to round off those two top corners, okay? Sharp as a telegraph pole. Sharp as a telegraph pole. That's one of my dad's favourite sayings. Well, well, except that's usually directed at people. Right, okay, does anybody know where I put my embossing tool? In a word, no. Me neither. Oh, for goodness sake. 
wonder if I dropped it on the floor. Hang on. Everything but. Oh, that's my phone on the floor. Okay, I've got a lot of glue. I've got card. I've got red tape that I don't need. I've got a pair of glasses that I don't need. Let's put those where they're supposed to be. I've got my tax return. I've got a milky bar. I've got several highlighters. And I've got no embossing tool at all of any sort. Does anybody want my milky bar? It's very battered. I found it on the floor. Oh, this one will have to do. Oh, I don't like these. They're too thin. It will have to do. Okay, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score on the five and three quarter inch side. Okay, so that means five and three quarter inches at the top. And I am going to score at half an inch. And I am going to score at five and a quarter inches. I'm going to turn it around 90 degrees. So I'm then scoring on the five and a half inch side. And I am going to score a half an inch. So what we've got here is a very, very simple pocket. And we've got three score lines that intersect on two corners. OK, right. So now we've got this piece, which was um, let me have a look. Five and three quarters by three and a half. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the five and three quarter inch side at the top and we're going to score at half an inch. And we're going to score at five and a quarter inches. Turn that around 90 degrees and we're going to score on the three and a half inch side at half an inch. OK, then uh, it's very complicated, this book, I can tell you. Um, yeah, nearly D. Ahead of us, huh? <laughs> we were, I can understand that when it comes to kinky my dream. Uh, what we've got here um, is our big photo mat, which is the one that we're going to fold in half. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can either just fold it in half to make sure that you get it exactly in half, or you can actually score it. So I'm going to score on the eight and a quarter inch side. So that's eight and a quarter at the top. And I'm going to score at four and one eighth of an inch. Okay. Right, the rest of them we don't need to score at all because they're just plain photo mats. So I'm going to put all of my photo mats to one side and I am going to work on my pocket. So uh, we are indeed going to... Hang on. Ellie, go away. She's messaging me and it keeps popping up over you guys and I can't see. Right. She's probably apologising for not being in class and I'm shouting at her for nothing. Oh, because she's, she's not in class okay. right okay so what we've got here is we've got our two pockets one for each side of our main pocket and what we're going to do come on ladies you know what we're going to do we're going to do some kinky mitering yay <laughs> so if this is your first time with me you are in for a treat because if you are of nervous disposition i would say probably this isn't the right class for you because now we're going to get onto our bonus and kinky mitering and yes, I do know what a boner is. It's one of these. That's my little boner. This is my big boner. So I'm sorry, it's best you know from the beginning that we talk about flaps, boners, sticky gussets and kinky mitering. I never started this. I want you to know. It was started actually by completely by accident by a lady that I was also with today. But um, I should really get her along into class one night and do a do a interview with her because it would just be so funny. Anyway, right, we're going to kinky mitre, and what kinky mitering is is we're going to get rid of these little squares here, and we are going to snip up to where our score lines intersect oh, like easy. that. Oh. I know Ellie is. I know. I'm just ignoring her. Oh. I know. Uh, so uh, so we're going to just just nip up snip up to the where that score line intersects now you can go straight across but i have found and it might just be me but i don't think it is 
that when you go straight across, you do run the risk that when you fold your flaps, sometimes they overlap a little bit and they get a bit bulgy and nobody likes a bulgy flap. So what I do is I snip up to where my score lines intersect and then I just change the angle of my scissors slightly. And so now instead of having a straight across mitre, I've got a kink in it. So this is a kinky mitre. We really need to do a glossary. OK, so I'm going to. There you go, Ellie. There's a job for you, dear. You can write me a glossary. Actually, Lorraine would probably be best place to do that. And we're going to do that on each of these, uh, each of these places where the score lines intersect. So we're going to chop these corners off. We're going to snip up to where the score line intersects. Change the ankle, ankle, angle. <sighs> Too much cake uh, of the uh, scissors and just snip off that little square there like that. Okay, so that is what is a kinky mitre. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold our flaps. There's no gussets in this, Lorraine. No. Don't worry, we'll have gussets to, uh, gussets tomorrow, sort of. Actually, no, we will. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my boner and I'm just going to burnish. Yes, thank you, dear. I'm just going to burnish that down to make sure that I get a really nice, sharp crease. Now, I actually part decorated this before I glued it together. And I'm going to do the same again, because what I did on the front of mine was I decorated it. Oh, I decorated it and then I cut out this little finger notchy thing. I have not figured out a way to do it and leave a reveal. Uh, so I'm just going to show you the cheat way. So let me see. Ruler, which I've just had. This is what? Four and three quarters by five. So let me choose some paper. What shall I have on the front? Oh, this is always the worst bit, choosing the, the ones for the for the start of it. What shall I have inside? Oh, it doesn't. I'll just use that one for now. OK, so. Um, let me cut that out. So if it's four and three quarters by five, I like to have a little bit of a reveal. So I'm going to cut it at four and five eighths. Oh, tell me about it. I got proper dressed up today. It's been a while. Okay, so I've cut that now, so I've got a little bit of a reveal around the outside. So I'm going to ink my edges because why not? And I keep losing my inky things because Max keeps stealing. Oh, oh, you people who are here for the first time, you haven't met Max yet. All I'm going to say is go into the OneDrive, look for colour study, look for colour study part two in the class videos and meet Max. Hi Jen. Yeah. He's grown a bit since then. Just a tad. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Sticky, eight sticky fingers. Right, so let's pop that on there like that. Okay, right, so that is my bottom pocket that is going to go on here like this. But I want to cut out that, that thumb notch or whatever it is they're called. So I'm just going to grab a circle punch. This one is just to hand. I'm not even sure if it's the right one. You could use any size. I think that's an inch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out where the middle of that, the top of this uh, pocket is. So what was it? Five... Four, oh, crikey. Four and three quarters divided by two is two and a half. Two and three. 
How did you work that out so quick? To half a fraction, you just double the bottom number. What now? To half a fraction, you double the bottom number. Okay. So half of a half is a quarter. You should double the two. But how do you... Uh, three quarters? It's three eighths. No way! Yes. How have I got this far into my life and I didn't know that? Next week, vectors. No, oh, don't vectors, bloody uh, things. Right, okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, right, so uh, two, two, and, two and three eighths, did you say? I didn't know that. You're a proper education, you are, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, right, so now I'm going to take my circle punch. I'd like to have it on record that these bulges are not related to the cakes. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, they're just there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, he's huge. Are we still talking about bulges? Oh no, we're talking about Max, aren't we? Okay, right. Okay, right. So uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh yes, I do. Uh, I'm going to cut this little this little thumb notch in there. No, I'm not like that. Okay, so I've got my little thumb notch. That's a really weedy little one, isn't it? Don't like that one. I don't even know where my big punch is. It'll have to do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue onto my flaps. Oh, get rid of the hair, which I suspect is mine and not Max's. Oh, I'll tell you, he, he's, uh, he, well, he kind of is. I guess I think, I think you have to be good at maths if you're an engineer, don't you? It helps. Yeah. And uh, numbers are my love. I prefer numbers to words. Numbers are your love. Numbers are your love. No. No. No, I prefer numbers to words. I was going to say you prefer numbers to people. No, yeah. Sorry. Right, okay. Um. So we're going to stick this on the bottom, on the front of this piece, which is our kind of base plate for want of a better description so that's going to go exactly at the bottom so we've got this little pocket there like that how easy could it be after you cal yeah that's what i thought sally i thought you should qualify that statement cheeky so and so this one if you want to put a little holy thing in you can uh, i'm not going to bother because because i don't like it. it's too small but it'll do for now but you're better off doing that before you stick it on. Otherwise, it, it just... What's he doing? He's disappeared. I'm not going to ask. Okay, and that one is going on the back at the bottom as well. Okay, like that. Oh, we've got Sleepy Max. Yeah, come on, Maxie. Oh, this is Max. He's sleepy. He's huge. Oh, he's sleepy. Oh, baby boy. Get off my sellotape. That's got cat hair on it. Hello. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, right. So uh, I've got my um, pocket on the front and I've got a pocket on the back. Now, I'm going to decorate this up with Max's help. What's the matter, Maxie? Yeah, oh, he's so him sleepy. I'm just welcome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's, he wants to go back to bed. Do you want to go back to bed, baby boy? Yeah, I'm going to put him back oh, to no. bed. Oh, no, he's going to sit on my glue. Okay. So now I'm, I'm going to... No, he's stopping. I'm going to decorate this up a bit. Now, if you're using cutter parts and stuff, one thing I would say is that you need to check the height because obviously this is going to make a difference when we come to put... Uh, the box together so you don't want your height when you stick your cutter part on to make this whole piece any more than eight and a quarter inches so let me just check before I decide I am using this that that's not going to make it any more than it is making it more so I probably need to cut that down or find something else actually I did just see some smaller ones you're right Maxie boy He is toy toy. Oh, he's so big and sleepy. A little bit. Oh, I wish you could see him. He's just so gorgeous and fluffy. Right. 
<laughs> that one can go on the back because as you can see what I've done is I've put I've put one on the back as well so I'll pop that one on the back so I can still use it what's he doing now uh, he's resting resting is that what you call it I think he might be after something. He's always after something. So, yeah, when we go through and make them, you need to make sure that the heights are all are all the same. Oh, so you can see here that they all they all fit at the top. So that they're all the same height. So do bear that in mind when you start to put these together. Oh, sorry, Maxie. Right. Okay. You're sleepy. Oh, he's so sleepy. You disturbed him. Yeah, the rain says uh, he's after your double sided tape. Oh, he's always after blue tape. And yeah. Oh, Tracy's just joined us. She's late. Oh, hi, Tracy. She's in the caravan, but she got the kit at home. Okay, so let me just mat that. Such a good idea having Max here. Right, so let's decorate this up. No, it's all right. Uh, four and three quarters. Oh. Yes, he's yeah. I'm gonna have to do this at a weird angle now. The angle of the tail. Yeah. I've got to try and work. I can't work this way around now. Four and three quarters. I can't work this out this way around. How heavy is he now? 6.4 kilos. 6.4 kilos. What's that in English? Uh, just over 14 pounds oh so he's nearly he's nearly a stone is the that all the rain says your blue nearly became a thermometer <laughs> <laughs> yes that it did <laughs> Okay, Max just told that. Oh, he will later. Yeah, in his teeth. He'll be, he'll be running around like an idiot in the middle of the night. Okay, so let's pop that in there. I love these blues, such nice colours. Come on, come on, can you go? Can you go? Okay, and now I'm going to decorate up the back. So that is four and three quarters by, let's go four and a half.
is watching himself on the screen. In front of me, I've got my PC on so I can see what you guys are writing. And uh, Max has just discovered that his tail is on, the, is, is on the screen and it might need chasing on the screen. Might it, Max? Huh? Okay. Right, that bottom one is three. Oh God, this is really difficult to do upside down. Oh, hello, Beverly. On YouTube. On YouTube. Right, nearly there. I don't know what Max is doing. He's so long. How long are you, Max? Max is, oh, oh, thank you, 13, 26, eight, 18, 18 plus 13, whatever that is. No, don't do that, you'll eat it. Whatever, what's 18 plus 13? 21. Uh, 31. 31, so that's how many inches long he is. 31 inches. You're huge, Max. Lynn says, for some reason, your tutorial kids broke up today. It's probably Max's fault. Yeah, just go ahead and come back in. Or watch it on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's usually a good bet. Right, now, uh, whilst I'm just decorating this, just a quick word about the retreat at home um, that the Scrap Lab DT and I are doing in March. Um this is a weekend online retreat, so it doesn't matter where in the world you are. You can come and join us and have some fun with us. Uh, it is mainly scrapbooking, mainly, uh, but, um, you know, there's going to be uh, a mini book class on the Saturday night. And we've got lives uh, in the group as well. Um, Ellie and uh, Adam and I are going to have a scrap off, which will be hilarious. But we're going to be doing the same challenges that you're doing. Uh, so it'll be fun. It'll be lots of fun. Um and you can find that uh, in the shop under New Inn, um, and it's £10. Now, if you're going to purchase this, if you go to the drop-down menu for shipping, if this is your only purchase, um, you'll see that it says uh, online retreat, and that should give you a shipping price of zero. Uh, and I forgot to put that in my post today. So uh, you can do that, and that will, that will give you a zero shipping charge uh, but that's going to be the 18th 19th and 20th of march max i need that paper that you're sat on so do come and join us we've, we've done this um i think this will be the third year that, we, that we've done it um and it's really good fun and we've got a theme this year of books so um all of the challenges are focused on um book quotes or quotes from books uh, and it'll be fun. And we have a special guest designer, Axel Fox, who is, how old is he, Ellie? And he's going to be doing a challenge for all your youngsters. So your kids, grandkids, if they're young, um, Axel will be doing his very own challenge uh, for them. So something for everybody. Sammy says it was great last year, really looking forward to it. Um, Karen McKee, already booked on. Yep. D, booked on today. Lorraine, what does Maureen? Ellie, he's six. He's six, is he? Ah, oh, well, yes, he's a superstar and he's, he's doing a special challenge uh, just for uh, your youngsters. So, um, is there going to be a link to join? 
Yeah. Uh, who's that? That's if you, D. yeah, D, I've already sent it to you, darling. It's emailed. So when you've um, when you've purchased that, what will happen is next time I'm uh, well, as soon as I see that, uh, I will send you a link to the group uh, so that you can come and join in. But yeah, I have sent yours. I sent it just before class, so you're probably only just seeing it. Now, I've got this cut apart, this big cut apart here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pop that on the back of mine, just so it's it's just to add a little bit of interest, really. Not for any other reason than decoration. You might want to leave it off. You might want to do something completely different. But that is where I am going to put two of my inserts. So, you know, these two that we cut what the heck is that? Oh, no, that's the right one. Uh, these two that we cut that were uh, six and an eighth by four and an eighth. I'm going to pop those in the back. OK. And All right. Just that like that. Oh, so am I. And then we've got this one. So what I want to do first is to cover this back bit. So I am going to just work out how big it is. It is three by two ish. Max has got my. Uh, milky bar. Six by two, change from two a by two. Washi tape. Yeah. Oh, washi tape. You won't believe what he steals off me. My face sponges. Brand new, of course. Not you know, not one that's used and needs to go in the bin. No, 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 no. After you threw it away, after you've done it off. Yeah. It's a little beggar. So I'm going to decorate up the back of this before I stick that on the top there. So let me just make sure that fits. Yes, it does. Let's just ink that edge. Let's glue that on. Like that. It doesn't matter that it's not quite, you know, kind of like fitting at the bottom because it's going to go on here and you're not going to see it. So what I'm going to do now is I said you don't want the height to be any more than about eight and a quarter inches. Let me just double check that because you might you might be able to get away with eight and a half. But let me just where's my lid? Thank you, Max. Uh, right. Let me just check the height of this is. Uh, It's nine inches, so you could get away. You could get away with up to eight and a half inches height on this, I would say. So I'm just going to measure eight and a half inches. So that's there. Let me put some glue on the bottom of this. Something has a dog like that. Uh, and I'm gonna rain test tapes at Emily Bort. Into the handbag, finds them after she's chewed them. Not just little beggars. And Ellie has a child like that. Oh, uh, yeah. So let's stick that on there. And I just realised I put glue on the back. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's near enough. Okay. So I'm just going to eyeball that top to bottom. Let me just get rid of this glue that I don't need on the back there. Because I put, oh, I hate sticky fingers. Oh. Okay. Right. So on the front, what we're going to do is we're going to put our other. Uh, photo mat. So I'm going to fold this one in half. So we've got room for four standard size photos on that one. Okay, that is a little booklet. And then this, this is for three by four inch photos. And what I did with mine is I put my photo and then I've got this sort of like this little topper on there as well, just for a bit of interest. So that is how we put these little pockety things together. So that's one. And you need 12. OK, oh, Max is on the, the run. Oh, uh, he's gone. Right. OK, so that is that is our first pocket. You're going to need 12, so go off and make them. Enjoy. If you want to pop projects as far as you've got into the group, that would be absolutely 
awesome because I do like to see what you guys are all doing. Not because I'm nosy, just because it makes me feel all warm fuzzy inside. Uh, so do do that if you want to. Um, and we will see you back tomorrow in Crafting Together with All Brands, where we're going to make that first insert for that project. And hopefully I'll have a bit more done by tomorrow uh, evening when we get together. And I'll put all the information in the group tomorrow so that you can see what you need. It's, it's basically just going to be cardstock tomorrow. That's all, you, that's all you're going to uh, need. And that's how deep is the box going to be? Please. Which one? Which box? Our this This box or the other box? This box is four inches. Sunny what time tomorrow? 7.30. 7.30 yeah. p.m. GMT. In Crafting Together. In Crafting Together with All Brands. But I will put information up in Paper Scissors Story and on my main Calcimers Workshops page so that you will find yeah, out well. where we are. Yeah, four inches. Four by five, basically, by nine. Four by five by nine, if that makes sense. Cool. Righty ho then, we will see you really soon. Well, in fact, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, and I think that's about it, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah. Have a lovely, lovely evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. And if we don't see you tomorrow, we will see you next Wednesday. Bye.